Hey there, Rocket Pop Stoppers. Hey, y'all. Driving around town. We're back again. We're gonna go check out uh, Blue Goose. See if they have any anything new. Hopefully something cool. Yeah. I've been told, oh, I won't have anything good. But then in my mind, no. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like it'll Fresh be. Fresh market head, you know. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> so, we'll see. Uh-oh, don't slide. Yeah. Well, we're here, guys, so let's keep going. Yay. Woo! There was juice back there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Good, how are you? Maybe. Oh, they have something I want. Green River. That is Dude. something I do kind of want. Dude. What? Oh, yes. I knew it. Oh, no, Frank. Sour here. Oh, we the good one, Huckleberry. Woo! We got some sodas. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of Green River. And a little bit In of flash yeah, sauce. It'll be cool, so. It's got a dragon on here. Heading back to the car. Like, yeah, so. Huh? It's a bunch of shit up. Really? Okay. Like, check it out, guys. Check it, 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 Probably not gonna focus it. Yeah, you, know, you do it every time though. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But today know. we got ourselves three different types of sodas. Got some Green River. Green River. Yeah, yeah. Then we got us uh, some Green River. Stewart's, which we will be We're adding. Cherry. Are you gonna cut me off more? Yeah. Uh, and then lastly, we got ourselves Flathead Lake Gourmet Sodas. To give a little information on all of them, starting with the Flathead, it actually began in uh, Montana at by Flathead Lake. So it's named after. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I know it's stationed in there. And uh, obviously they fill it to the brim because one is, there's not an inch of that bottle that is not soda. See, for the Green River Soda, they began after Prohibition. That prohibition that came about and Green River sprung up. It's actually a Chicago soda, so shout out to Chi Town. Our home land. That'll be a fun little local soda that we'll have. So may as well have some fun with it. I hope you like it. We'll probably have to. This do... is like us hanging out. We could like. Oh, it's fun out there. Huh? That's what I want it to be like. Little sodas in the fridge all Yeah, time. like, oh, uh, we got some Jackson Hole Huckleberry. Oh, yeah, give me some of that Huckleberry. Yeah, Flathead's got a Huckleberry. They had, um, what else? They had Granny Apple. Granny Apple. They had and black. Black Raspberry. Black Raspberry. I used to be allergic to raspberries. Really? Yeah. Did you know Frankie was allergic to raspberries? Turns out I'm only allergic to dust mites now. So if you're trying to kill me, <laughs> put me in a room with a lot of dust mites. What would be a good sort of Definitely Green River. Very, mm. very refreshing. I love Green I've had Green River before. I love it. He has not. I'm greatly excited. It's a great drink. Uncle Bub's in Westmont, they have Green River in a fountain. It's a fountain drink. And that's how I found out about it. And then it's always around St. Patrick's Day because it's, it's green, green color. They always, you always see it a lot. Huh. Oh, absolutely. A huge backyard. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Say it some more. Well, we're here, so stay tuned in a second. Woo! Hey, Rocket Pop Stop people. It's me again, Josh. Frank. And we're here with sodas now that we're inside. We and start... it's a beautiful day. It's gorgeous. It actually, it's too hot. But we have Flathead Lake Gourmet Soda and Green River. Boom. And we got a cool. Another little carton. Ooh. 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 Alright. 
I taste a metallic -y taste to it. Maybe we just got a maybe we just got like a bad batch or something. One that had quarters in the bottom. It's got a good cherry flavor, but yeah, I don't taste the sour. Maybe that's what it, maybe that's what it is, the metallic -y taste. Maybe that's the sour. They just put pennies in there. Yeah, this will taste real sour when you're yeah. eating a couple of Lincolns. <laughs> Mm. It's okay. It's good, but again, it's not great. Eh, it wasn't that good. And lastly, for this video, we'll do a Green River. It, sh it should be good. Yeah. I'm excited for it. You like it? It's the same. Um... No! That <laughs> <laughs> wrong. <laughs> You're gonna like it. Yep. If you didn't like it, I would be shocked. Hmm, we'll see. It's it's pretty good. Um, I think it's a great um, lime soda. It's good. I mean, again, it's kind of seasonal for the most part. Like I only ever see it around on St. Patrick's Day. It does Day. taste very more lime than lemon. It's good. I like it. I think it's good. It's refreshing. It's good. How about we rate it? Okay. For Green River. Definitely Green River is better than Flathead. I would say yes. If you see it, definitely get it. Because it's, it's good. It, it's a good seasonal St. Pat's Day. As opposed to this, it's a, it's, all right. it's a fairly decent soda. Is it worth the $5 you it's spend right. on a four-pack? No. It's, you uh, might like it. Depending on if you like metal, um, yeah. you like heavy metal. I give this a four. I'll go with four on that as well. But Green River, I will give a six. I like the flavor. I think you know, based out of Chicago. Based out of Chicago, all the more. Well, thanks guys for watching another video episode. Vlog, vlog thing. We'll be right back with some more sodas, so make sure you watch those. We got Stewart's coming. Woo See you soon. Bye. Bye.